Here's the situation. You have a list of different branch locations, their products, and associated sales. What you need is a quick way to sum by location and product. So let's take a look at this example. Here are all my locations, my products, and their associated sales. What I want in this cell is to be a sum of California product tubes. In this cell, what I want is a sum of everything but Dallas product tubes. So I'm going to choose to use Excel's sum ifs formula. First argument is the sum range, and that, that's the numbers. Those are the numbers, all the possible numbers that you are going to be looking at. Hit F4 to lock it in place. Now we've got to enter our first criteria range. Doesn't matter what order we go in, but I'm going to use location first because that's the way it's laid out from left to right. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it in place. Now I have to enter the criteria for this criteria range which is going to be California. I could type it in if I wanted to or I could use a cell reference. I'm going to choose to use a cell reference because I believe the cell reference needs to be on the sheet anyway and I want to take advantage of that. When you have an answer here people need to know what it's an answer for so they can see that it's for California, product 2, boom there's the answer. Now I enter my next criteria range named criteria range 2 which is going to be my products. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in place. Got to do the same thing here. I need to enter the criteria for this range, which is right there. Now you can see the scroll bar down here. I can keep going. However many criteria, criteria groups I have, I can keep going. Here I only have two to keep it simple. Click OK. That's the answer. So let's check it. This is California product twos. So let's just highlight the California product twos. They happen to be right next to each other. Come down here to check the answer. 2425. That's right. Now, because I locked in place my uh, criteria ranges but did not lock in place my criteria, I can drag this down. Now, 8125 represents everything but Dallas that is a product 2. So let's highlight that. Here's a product 2 that's not Dallas. Here's a product 2 that's not Dallas. Here's a product 2 that's not Dallas. Here's a product too that's not Dallas. Come down here to check it, 8125, it's working. Very quick way to sum with multiple criteria. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.